Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Happy New Year. Happy 2021. Good morning. Oh, I love to see everyone rolling on in here. Oh my goodness. Good morning. I am loving seeing all of these beautiful yogis showing up this morning. Yay. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy day one. Yes. We're already at 62 people. Woo woo. Awesome. <clears throat> Just waiting for more people to zoom in here and then I'll share a couple announcements with you before we officially begin. But I am just so happy to see all of you here or to see your names. Of course, I can't see you, but I can sure see your names. Oh my goodness. I see lots of familiar names and lots of new names, lots of names from the past. Oh my goodness. It's like, it's like a reunion. Yay, 68 people, woohoo. Happy New Year, Julie, I see your chat. Oh, thanks everyone. If you're new to the Zoom world, you can certainly find a chat box there at the bottom. I love to hear your comments, read your comments. And welcome, welcome everyone to my little virtual studio my yoga in the sky, I call it. And this is the way we've been functioning for the last nine months. And while it's not the same as being in person, there still is definitely an energetic charge and connection with all of us. So grateful for what we have. So if you're just tuning in, if you're, you're gonna need a couple blocks today, if you have them, if not, I will definitely give you other options. So if you need to run and grab some blocks, do that. That will be the prop that we need if you have it. <clears throat> Hi, Sue, nice to see you too. <clears throat> nice to see your name. Excuse me, <clears throat> yeah, a little frog. <clears throat> All right, oh my goodness. There's, I'd love to just say hello to each one of you, but there's so many names. But no, I feel, I see your name. I feel that you're here and I'm so appreciative. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of like um, a, a person at the zoo, like gawking at the animals going, wow, I love it. All right, we're at 76 people and it is time, it is nine. 30, a little past 9.30, so let's begin. So again, if you're just coming in, if you have some blocks, that would be helpful this morning. If you don't have blocks, no worries. There'll, there'll be other options. So I'm gonna put my block back here. <clears throat> yep, yeah, so I, just gonna um, reiterate here, I cannot see any of you. This is a Zoom webinar format. So you are in the privacy of your home and uh, you can see me, you can chat to me. But other than that, you are, you could be doing yoga in your pajamas or heck, maybe you, you fell asleep with your clothes on last night and just rolled out of bed. So however, however you're comfortable, I will not be able to see you. Um, I wish I could. I wish I could. I really miss seeing people and beautiful bodies practicing and breathing together. But as I said, this is what we have now. So we're making the best out of it. So welcome. Welcome to, as I said, day one. Welcome to this new year. I love the promise and the hope of a new year, don't you? And my the name of this class this morning is Finish strong, start stronger. And that will be un, 
unveiled to you as we go along in this class, but I wanna give credit to a woman that I learned the process from that I'm gonna teach you today. Her name is Emily Fletcher. And many of you, if obviously 2020 is gone, right? It, it went bye-bye last night and many of us were like, good riddance. But maybe you didn't get an opportunity to wrap it up or to look at it from a different perspective. And maybe there's some finishing work that you wanna do in order to not just finish 2020, but to finish it strong. And we're gonna talk about that through our practice today. And because of that finishing it strong, we can move forward stronger. We can start stronger into this new year. So that is my hope for us today to enjoy this process. And the class will be a little bit longer than normal 75 minutes, um, maybe you know, 80, 85 minutes around there, because we're gonna be at the end doing a brief meditation to, to wrap everything up. I wanna say before we, I go deeper into the theme here, and that for those of you that are new, I see many new names. This is a mixed level class. And what that simply means is I give you a buffet of options, right? So we're all at different places and I'm so glad you showed up this morning. So I always put out a little buffet of options as far as the postures and choose what, what suits you, what tastes right to you when the time comes. So make it your practice. So I'm gonna be stating the obvious right now we just finished a year that will go down in history and never before have has a shared experience a shared human experience been so global so although we've had this shared experience um, of the pandemic of social unrest of civil unrest and of locally here the derecho and many other challenges I believe that every single one of us has had a different ride this year. Sometimes the ride has been dark, sometimes the ride has been light, but I think we've all experienced a gamut of emotions and an up and down through the whole year. I was listening to a podcast a couple of days ago of a gentleman who's a spiritual teacher and he was talking about enlightenment, but what stood out to me was his next phrase. He said, I believe we're at the end of endarkenment. I was like, ooh, endarkenment. I haven't heard that word before. Maybe you have. And he was talking about, he believes that we're at the end of endarkenment and that it's time for us to shine our lights forward onto 2021 in this next decade. But in order to do that, that we all need to be strong. We need to come from a place of strength, of inner strength as well as outer strength. And so it's our focus today to start stronger. So in this theme of finish strong, start stronger, there's the promise of a brand new year in front of us. And I wanna take you through a moving practice today, but also a moving process, like a moving meditation. And I hope that you'll find it helpful and insightful. And it'll allow you to maybe wrap 20, 20 up in a strong bow and put it on the shelf, okay? So here, last week I did my annual um, ritual that I usually do during the, um, during the first day of the, uh, towards the end of the year, I always do a ritual and it's a five-step process. I learned this from Emily Fletcher and I'm just gonna briefly go through this five steps because we're gonna be moving through it on our mat. So follow along with me. You might even wanna jot these down. Um, the first step I do is I rant. I do a rant. I'm, I'm writing when I do this. I rant like a two-year-old. I wah, wah, all the sucky things that happened to me in the last year. I put them all down, all the losses, the frustrations, um, all of my plans that were canceled. Um, I just like have a big, uh, a, a tantrum and I get all the sludge out. And so after the rant, I feel like I have a little bit more of an energetic clearing. And then the second step is I choose my three to five biggest challenges from the past year. Three to five. We're not going to do that many today. And after I write the challenges down <clears throat> underneath each one, I first sit with it and say, what lesson did I learn? What did this challenge teach me? And then I say, how did I grow? I ask myself, how did I grow from that challenge? And sometimes these are obvious, you know, how did I grow? Like for example, 
last year, one of my biggest challenges was I had to let go of my studio, our beautiful studio space. And it was heartbreaking. And um, when I looked at what did I learn? What was the teaching? For me, it was detachment. It was learning to let go of something that I love dearly. And from that, I, I feel like my growth has been, I've been pushed into expanding my gifts in different directions and exploring new territories. So just to give you an example, I'm sure you can think about your own. The third step is to celebrate your success celebrate your success. And this is something that a coach taught me to do. It felt a little weird because, well, let me just say celebrating your success might mean celebrating your growth or your resilience or your adaptability and building upon that in the, for the coming year. So she also shared this quote with me from Dallas Trevor that said, this, now this is a good one. You can't build on top of success that you don't acknowledge. You can't build on top of success you don't acknowledge. And this was interesting to acknowledge uh, and celebrate my successes considering this last year was so much about loss for me or so it seemed. Maybe you can feel that too. So I don't know about you, but I typically don't take a lot of time to celebrate my successes. I'm excited to move on to the next thing. And, and we usually don't acknowledge our successes that much. We're all really good at worshiping our non-achievements and we spend a lot of our time and energy focusing on everything we have yet to accomplish. Can you relate to this? What do I have to accomplish next? So when do we stop and celebrate our successes? We, why have we been working so hard for all of these years if we're not gonna take time to celebrate? So that is part of finishing strong is recognizing and celebrating. So we're going to do that today too. The last two steps are simple. Four, step four is set your intentions for the new year. What do you want? What do you want to bring in? And number five, if you want to add it in, is come up with a word, a word that is your guiding word for the year, a word that you want to live into. And I can just share with you that my word for this next year is three letters, fun. I need some fun in my life. I don't know about you, but fun is my word for the year I want to live into. So today we're going to go through this process, as I mentioned, in a moving meditation to finish strong and start stronger. And we'll end with a short meditation to seal our intention. So sound like a plan? That's where we're going. And let's take a moment to center now. So <clears throat> If you're not in a seated position, go ahead and come on up to your seat and just wiggle around, make yourself comfortable there for a moment. <clears throat> and we, we're at 85 people here. Ooh, we have a nice big group. Feel that energy of everyone. So let your eyes close as we center. This is a very important part of our practice. This is where we get to make a shift if we want to from the busyness and the chaos of our outer world. And we start to move into our inner world and maybe it feels busy and chaotic too, but it will settle. And just really think about this day, day one of a new 365 day trip around the sun, a new year. It's pregnant with possibilities. The eyes closed, begin to come, become present in your body this morning. And tune in to your natural breath. Just recognize the gift of your breath. And then bring your awareness to your head. As you breathe in the next time, breathe in as if you're filling up your head, filling up a balloon. And as you exhale, let the breath travel down and rest in your chest, in the heart region. In your next breath, breathe in awareness to your heart. And as you exhale, let it travel down into the belly region. On your next breath, breathe into the belly region. 
And as you exhale, let your awareness travel down to the base of your pelvis, to your seat, and drop anchor. Let your breath and your awareness anchor lower in your body. Feeling your spine nice and tall. And now imagine as you lean your torso back just slightly, lean back with your shoulders if you can. Imagine two loving hands right on your shoulder blades and you can lean back into that support. And imagine those hands removing weight off of your shoulders, like taking off a heavy backpack that you've been wearing all year long. Feel or imagine a new lightness, maybe even greet it with a sigh of, ah, feels good to think about letting that go even that weight we've been carrying. And now imagine this benevolent supportive presence inviting you to sit at ease, to take a load off, a load off of your body, a load off of your heart and your mind. What might that feel like? And last, imagine this energy, this benevolent energy encouraging you to be ever so present in this practice today, to pay close attention to your breath, your feelings, your emotions, your body, and to listen, to lean in and listen for guidance and wisdom you can take forward with you into this new year. Receive a generous cleansing breath now and release it out with your full awareness, full attention on it. And then let your two hands find each other and meet up in front of your heart. Take a subtle, gentle bow in that direction, simply acknowledging this time you've carved out for you. We ask, as I always do, may this practice be supported and uplifted by grace. And then lifting your head, release your hands, let your eyes open, and we're gonna start in a standing position. So, Please come to a standing position on your mat there or wherever you are. And I'm hoping that we're good. You can hear and you can see we are ready to go. And again, remember, you don't have to do anything I say today, meaning if there's something that doesn't feel right for your body, adapt, choose something that feels better. And um, just really, I'll let you use your own discretion on what you do today. So let's start in standing position. And I'll meet you back on my back. <clears throat> let me put my spectacles on so I can see. All right, so we're gonna start in a standing in mountain pose, the master pose. And so you're gonna place your feet firm like the big solid base of a mountain, and then just stand strong, stand in your strength. And even if you're not feeling strong, just fake it for now, stand strong. Then bring your hands together at your heart center. You're gonna receive this as a very reverent moment. So let the eyes close. And you can imagine if you were standing on a mountaintop, you would have a really, broad perspective, you could see the big picture. So just taking a moment to acknowledge this practice and process that we are about to embark upon. May we be open, receptive, 
May we know that it is to assist us in finishing strong so that we can move from a, from a stronger place going forward into the next year. Receive a deep breath in and feel that intention, that overall intention, release the breath out. And let the eyes open and please stretch your arms above your head. So extended mountain pose, reach up a little higher and really stretch up, look up, maybe yawn. Yawning is so good for your brain. Ah. And then from here, let your arms come down. You're going to bend your knees a little bit and just dive into that first forward bend here. Forward bend as we embark upon this practice of releasing the past, honoring the past, and welcoming the future. And let your head move. So we're going to start off with a rant. And this would be to think of it as an energetic clearing, clearing the sludge, clearing the, the stuff that we might be lingering to, the anger, the fear, the frustration, all of that. So start to shake your head out a little bit, shake it out. Like our brains have been wound tight this year, no doubt, just shake it out a little. The process of shaking, shaking the body is used a lot to release trauma. We're going to have fun with it this morning to start off to do our rant. So bring your hands to your hips now, lift your shoulders up towards the ceiling, and then slowly come up to a standing position and separate your feet just a little bit wider. So the shaking is actually a very natural thing. Animals do it. You see your cats and dogs, they shiver and shake, they shake off stress. And so we're going to start with just a little bit of shaking. So I want you to just to start with your hands, your arms shake them out. Don't overthink it. Just shake it. Let the shake happen and feel your shoulders get into it more. You might be feeling like concrete, a little stiff from the year. So give yourself a chance to feel fluid and let go of the rigidity. Start to bring your arms up above your head. Shake them up here. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Good. And then shake them down in front of you. Shake them, shake them. Shake that shit off. Get rid of it. Shake it out, all right, stand on one leg and shake the other one. You might fall over. Just shake it out a little bit, shake your foot, do the other leg, shake. Oh, shaking going on. We could start singing Elvis songs, but I won't. All right, shake it a little bit more. Let your hips get into it. What if you let those things move a little bit? And now reach up, shake. Remember you're letting go of stuff. So come all the way down to forward bend and shake your arms, shake your head. Really shake it. If you've had a hell of a year, shake it more. All right, and then come all the way up, reach above you. Bring the hands to the heart center. Whew, hopefully you feel a little invigorated from that. Now, something I learned at the Chopra Center, it's called the Tarzan. You have two glands here, your thiamus glands. And when we stimulate those, it boosts our immune system. So we're gonna do that, but also vocalizing is a great way to release stagnant energy in the body. So we're going to do the Tarzan. So just say the word ah, ah, say it again, ah. All right, so we know that's Tarzan's call. You're going to take your arms up with a big inhale. Pound on your chest with an ah. Here we go. Exhale. Ah. Again, please inhale. Reach up. Big inhale. Exhale. Ah. Sorry if I'm yelling really loud into the microphone. And release one more time. Big inhale, exhale. Ah. Now swing your arms, swing forward and back, swing them out. Inhale up, exhale down. Two more. Last one, big reach up, exhale, forward fold, come all the way down. Take a moment to notice here as you start to feel some tingling, some sensation. Move to the front of your mat if you're not already, just kind of walk on up there in this forward bend position. And then from there, let's all step to our first downward facing dog of the year, perhaps, unless you did a little pregame before class. 
start to pedal the legs, bending knees. Check in with your dog on day one, the day one dog. Check in with your breath. I'll keep reminding you. We're still in the rant phase now. So please pause your legs. Bend both knees generously. Imagine your knees are resting on a little baby trampoline, mini trampoline, and you're going to bounce, 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 bounce. So bounce it out. Shake out any stiffness through your low back and hips. Just keep a bouncing. You can add sound effects if you want. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Good. And now let your hips go side to side. So don't overthink it. You just got to move the stuff. The emotional tension settles into our body in the form of muscular tension in so many cases. Good. Come back to center. Lower your knees down to the mat and sit on back to your first child's pose. And just feel the ground. Feel that you are fully supported by the steady, sturdy mass of ground underneath you. Breathe consciously. Notice how it might feel to release and clear out, even though it was a very short period. <sighs> We're clearing the way. Good. Extend your arms and lift back up to downward facing dog. This time in down dog, let both heels fall to the right, hips and heels right. Pause there. Breathing in and breathing out. And then let's go the opposite. Let the heels and hips Fall over to the left, perhaps feeling a little extra lengthening up the right side of the body, perhaps not. I don't like to tell you what you should feel because I don't know what it's like to be in your body. Come back to the center and let's step your left leg forward up between your hands. Now, if you need to lower your knees and step through, however you can get there, and then step the right leg forward as well. From here, <clears throat> bring the hands to your hips, lift your shoulders, and rise <clears throat> all the way up to standing. All right, so take your blocks, if you have them, and bring them to the back of your mat and stack them tall, one on top of the other. If you don't have blocks, no worries, you can still do this. They're more of a, a visual <clears throat> and awareness tool there, so go ahead and do that. Well, I drink my frog away. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> All right. So we're moving into the first step, the second step of the process. We ranted. We let go, let go of crap. And now we're going to go into the challenge, right? So come to the front of your mat. Bring the hands to the heart center. <clears throat> Place the hands. Actually, you know what? I want you to back up near your blocks. Let's just go here. That way we don't have to move. Sorry. Be flexible. So place your feet hip width apart and your, your blocks are back there. You know they're there and hands at the heart. So I want you to take a moment here and pause and feel or check in with one of your biggest challenges this past year. And you know what that is and there might be many challenges, but let's just bring to mind one for the purpose of today's practice. One challenge as you bring it to mind Notice if there are any emotions that come with it. Fear, anger, sadness, frustration, anxiety, just what comes along when you think of that challenge. Maybe you're through the challenge, maybe you're still in it. <clears throat> Bring it to mind. Be willing to look it straight in the eye. Now, as we move through our yoga practice, we're going into the challenge phase. And the practice of yoga is here to teach us always to challenge us. And we take these challenges and the way we react to them off our mat into our life. So often how we live, how we do yoga is how we live and vice versa. So opening the eyes, let's hope you have that one challenge in mind. We'll work with it. And then keep the hands at the heart center. 
So it would press your feet firmly and come back into a chair. So maybe you lightly touch the blocks. You're like, oh, I know they're there. Maybe not. And then come back up. Let's do that again. Come on back down. Lightly touch and up. So the blocks help us with um, protecting our knees as well. So you want the hips to go way back towards the block and back up. All right, so there are two ways to stand. Let's feel the difference. So you're gonna come down. Now I just want you to stand up, just zoom, stand up. I call that a spring, you spring up. So I want you to squeeze up instead. Let's try that. So come down, stay here. Now I want you to push down into your feet with strong intention, push down. And I want you to feel your legs, the muscles activate and come up slower, squeeze your legs straighter, squeeze yourself all the way up and tone your bottom at the top. That's the way we wanna stand up, much stronger. Here we go. So we're gonna come down, push through the feet, strong legs, squeeze yourself up. We're gonna do two more. Come all the way down, wherever that is for you. Push through the feet intentionally, squeeze the legs to stand. One more time. Getting these legs extra strong to move through the new year. Push down, squeeze, and stand up. Awesome. Now step wide on your mat, feet straight ahead, and come on down. Come down to the ground. Holding there. Let your head release. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. Let your shoulders slide down towards your ears. And then now from here, lift your gaze, lift your torso, come onto your fingertips, bend your knees a little bit, bend your knees a little and push your seat back more. Push your seat back, good. Keep your seat back, keep your knees bent, walk your hands to your thighs. Now stretch forward through your chest as you come up and then all the way up to standing, strong legs. Good step or jump your legs together, come back in front of your block. All right, so this time, oh, actually, let's do the arms first. Bring your arms above your head and then pull the elbows down in a W shape. And as you pull down, turn your palms up, pinky fingers rotate forward. What I want you to feel is your upper back come online. So feel your shoulder blades merge and feel your back muscles engage. Reach up again and then pull down against resistance. Feel the shoulder blades. We need a strong back to carry us through the next year. Good, and now keep the shoulder blades merging and come to a chair position. Come to a chair position. Yeah, so your upper body should feel like you're trying to do cobra. You're really lifting. Good. Awesome, and now hands to the thighs. Dip a little lower. Squeeze and come up. Bring it on down, deep chair pose. Squeeze the legs straight. Two more times, bring it on down, deep chair pose, squeeze. Bring it on down, deep and up. Awesome, step your legs wide again. Come forward, please. And now turn your left foot out and lunge over to the left. And just pause here, feel maybe the breath has quickened a little. Maybe you're starting to feel warmer. We are purposely putting our body through challenge now. And then we notice, how do we react? Let's switch sides. Do we meet the challenge? Do we rise to meet it? Do we shy away from it? No judgment, just observing, just witnessing. Come to the right side here. Hold here, let your inner thighs wake up a bit this morning. And then one more time over to the left, turn your left foot out, please. And then let's switch over one more time. Right foot turns out as you lunge over to the right. How's it feeling this morning? Did you guys stay up super late last night? Did anybody make it to midnight? I think we went to bed at 11. That's as far as I could do. Bring your feet straight. Bring your hands on your hips. Lift your shoulders and come all the way up. Step or jump your feet together. Going into frog pose now, or a nice quad stretch. 
Certainly can hold a wall if you need to. Balance on your left foot, bring your right leg up behind you and extend your left arm out or hold an object if that helps. Yeah, now if, if this pose is not accessible for you, your buffet option is come down here, put the knee on the ground and stretch your right arm up and you can get into this quad and hip flexor. So know that that's an option. If this is not working, sometimes we have a knee limitation. We need options in life, don't we? Switch legs, please. Stand on your right leg, bring the left leg or kneel down and bring the left arm up. So holding there, see what's happening this morning. As we continue to warm up and go deeper into the challenge phase. All right, let's release one last time. Turn around, greet your seat here, or if you don't have blocks, imagine that you do. Now this time we're gonna add a balance component. So we're gonna come down, take your time, hold here. Let me just say we're gonna be shifting our weight onto our left leg and lifting our right leg. Here we go, shift the weight left, lift the right leg, hold. Bring it back down and come down to a deep chair, hold. Shift the weight right, lift the left leg. You got it, now let's go a little more rhythmic. Come down, bend, right leg up. Squat, left leg up. Squat, and you, maybe your foot's lower, maybe you're right here. That's fine. Again, you do you, down, up, a couple more, down, up. We're getting the big muscle groups online here first. Get some good blood flow pumping. Getting prepared for the new year. All right, and last one. Last time, step wide. Knees come down. This time we're gonna walk our hands out. Think down dog, think like a dog. Place your palms flat or come onto your fingertips. I like to do fingertips in this variation, but you choose. And then just start to press your pelvis back. Pause here for two slow breaths. And each breath connects you to your inner strength. And we're all, I think we've shown ourselves that we're all way stronger than we think we are this year. We've endured a lot. So we're gonna be celebrating that today too. Rock your hands back. And now pivot towards the front of your mat. Just turn wherever the front of your mat is, lower your back knee down, and then bring your front leg back. So we're all on our hands and knees now. And let's see. Reach back for a moment. If your blocks are back here, we're gonna to wanna to move them out of the way and bring them up to the front of your mat if you're using those. Okay, so all fours position. So for a challenge, we need a strong core. We're gonna bring some awareness to this region now. Please bring your legs all the way together for this variation, feet and legs together. And then wrists under shoulders, claw your fingers into the mat. And then into cat cow, as you know it. So inhale slowly, guiding the awareness forward and up a little. Exhale, push the mat away and hold here. Feel your abdominals. Start to wake up a little bit more here as you push, push, push the floor away. Feel the engagement, the connection in your abdomen, your core. And then come forward when you're ready. Inhale into Cow pose and exhale round and push your arms strong like you're moving a piece of heavy furniture or you're pushing 2020 away from you. But now come back to center. So as we do that one more time, I want you to bring your full awareness to your strong abdominals and see if you can maintain the abdominal connection when you go back into cow pose, when you arch, instead of letting it all collapse, see if you can maintain connection. So here we go. We're gonna round first this time, push the floor away, 
feel there's an engagement and activation through your abdomen. Now keep your awareness there, your very refined attention there as you start to come forward to more of a neutral position, even as you start to go into a little mini cow pose, see if you can not relax or not completely let your abdomen go kerplunk. See if you can keep that. Yeah, now keeping that, extend your right leg straight back. Push the floor away strong, bring it back in. Bring your left leg back, push the floor away. A nice alert core and release. Now take your hands and pop them forward a little bit of your shoulders. Lift up to downward facing dog. And pause here, deep breath in, slow breath out. Step your left leg up between your hands, everyone. Left leg up and lower the back knee. Now, if your back knee needs some assistance, you know to double your mat up or put a cushion there and come upright. So from here, what I want you to do is take your arms out in front of you and push like you are pushing your strength against a, a challenge and draw your ribs back. So find that feeling you just did on your hands and knees. Keep this connection here as you then let the arms float up. So keep the connection. It's good support for your back but also taps you into your inner strength here. We have, we have to stay connected to the center of our body. Good, now you can arch back, but try not to just collapse and go boom, ribs out. Uh -huh. Good, from here, swing, swing your arms around, come down to the mat, lift up, step back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, slow breath out. Step your right leg forward, same thing. Lower the back knee down, come on up, push forward, creates a little, we're exaggerating this a little bit. Some of it we're gonna lose. As you lift up, be aware, can I keep some containment there? Can I keep that connection that I need? Lengthen up and back, deep breath. Exhale, come back down, very good. Lift the back leg, step back downward facing dog. Now we're gonna do that again. You can keep the knee on the ground. That gives you more stability or come up to crescent. So left leg forward, step it up to a lunge, up on the ball of the back foot and then come upright or knee can go to the ground. You choose that option as well. And then take your arms forward, push, Take the ribs back a little bit. So you kind of like tether them, tether them in. And then from there, start to let the arms rise. Lunge a little deeper and stretch up, up, up before you think about going back. Mm -hmm. Really good, hold strong. This is where the challenge comes in, right? We hold the postures a little longer. We can't run away from everything in life. So we learn to hold and be steady with it, breathe into it. Release, come down. Step back, downward facing dog. I hear it calling your name. Breathing, clearing out with each exhale. And let's step your right leg as you're ready now up between your hands. You can lower the back knee if you choose and come up or come up, I should say. From here, push forward, like you're pushing against a wall. Bring your ribs back, find your strength. And then the arms can come up. Mm -hmm. And maybe this feels good to you. Maybe you wanna stay here and say, oh, wow, I like that feeling when I'm connected. So pick what feels right. Hold steady on this side. I think I am strong. I'm not gonna let life blow me over. I'm gonna embody that right now, embody that quality. Because let me just tell you, we all know 2021 is gonna have its own challenges, right? We're gonna have other ones come back down. And from here, I want you to step back into 
downward facing dog one more time. In this down dog, bend your knees, please. Bend your knees. And then if you had a tail, imagine someone pulling your tail up towards the sky. So try to make a lumbar curve, stick your bottom up. And now draw your ribs up into your body like we just did in those last two postures. Connect the strength there. And then push really strong from your arms, through your arms, or through your, from your shoulders, through your arms into your hands, what I was trying to say. Yeah, your hips are going high, but your knees are still bent. Knees are still bent. Yes. And now from here, let's step the left leg forward again. Left leg forward. Take a moment here to pause. And bring attention to your feet and your shins. Hug your feet and shins in towards the middle. And then twist to the left. Bring your left arm up. Holding here in this twist. Maybe revisit your challenge from the year. Say, I see you. I'm gonna deal with you. I'm still dealing with you. And now from here, come around, touch down to the ground, lower your back knee. Inhale, come on up. You can push and then extend. We're gonna add on this time. Come on down. Now either touch your block or put your fingers on the floor. We're gonna lift the back leg, transfer your weight to the front leg, and then just lift your back leg. It doesn't have to be super high. Find what works for you. And what's gonna help us all is if we're pushing strong down through our standing leg, like when we squeezed our legs in those squats, so push your left foot down, draw your ribs up into the body by pushing your hands down more and find a little more stability. Good. Now reach back long in space, touch your toe down and come on down. Step back downward facing dog. Take a child's pose anytime you need to. Listening to what your body needs. Let's step your right leg forward, everyone. Right leg forward. Feel your feet land. Hug your feet and your shins towards the middle of your mat. It's going to connect you to more strength, more stability. So hug in, keeping that, turn to your right, and then unfold the arm. Yeah, so moving strategically, mindfully, with integrity of alignment and breath, skillfully. Yoga teaches us to, yoga means skillful action. So we go through life skillfully circle the arm around and come down lower the back knee you guessed it push forward draw your ribs back then float up then float up and back exhale come down touch the mat or the blocks lift your back leg and transfer your weight the more you push down through your standing leg the more solid the leg is going to be so push through the foot, draw up through your abdomen, and just pause and feel. Feel your strength. Awesome, and then reach back in space. Touch down, step back downward facing dog. All right, from here, everyone, let's come forward to our first plank pose. And you're always welcome to lower your knees like so. And then take your journey right on down to the mat. Inhale, take your hands forward for a funky cobra and come onto your fingertips. And then just lifting on up here, take a moment to move a little side to side. Meeting. Whatever challenges you're feeling this morning, maybe it's in your breath, maybe it's in your physical body, maybe your mind is not wanting to focus. Just be, give yourself some grace with whatever challenge you feel. Curl the toes under, push back downward facing dog. And then let's lower the knees down to the mat, but walk your hands back. From here, you might want to curl your toes under, that feels okay. 
circle your right arm up and around. And maybe it's holding here in space. Maybe it touches your heel. Just see where it's at. And then turn and take your left arm up. So if you can touch the heel, go there. If not, just make this position. Okay, reach up and just lift your chest. Feel the shoulder blades come onto your back. And then switch sides. So take the left arm around, either hold it in space and reach the right arm up or lean back. Oh, breathe deep, everyone. Oh, many of us have been waiting all year to exhale. Take a big exhale and come up to center, back down. And let's take a moment in child's pose. So open the knees and then just let yourself sit on back. Give yourself permission to rest and feel. And that's important part of strength, right? Taking rest. So pausing in child's pose. <sighs> deep breath. Breathing deep into your back body. And then please make your way back up. So we're gonna do that same challenge again with a few additional options, okay? So choose your, make your choice. Bring your hands out in front of you, lift a downward facing dog. Notice how your body is adjusting, how it's accepting maybe a little bit more of the challenge you're putting in front of it. Step your left leg up between your hands. Take the left arm up in a twist. Now your legs are hugging in strong, right? Exhale, touch down. Pause for a moment here. And then lower the back knee down. Now, two options. One is what we've been doing. Two is circle the right arm back and perhaps find the heel. Where'd my heel go? And then lean back. So you can do variation one or variation two or make up your own and take a picture of it, send it to me. So I'll have other options. Good, lift on up, come forward. Now here's the new part. We're gonna take the hands to the floor or the blocks, lift the back leg. Variation one is right where we were. You can stay there. I'm gonna give you next variation. We're gonna start to bring the back knee forward, start to rise up and balance and bring your right leg up. Interlace your hands behind it. So you might still be in variation one, hold it for as long as you can. And you can also straighten your leg here if you choose. Bend or straighten, yogi's choice. Lift the chest, stand in your strength. Bend the leg slowly, start to go back, retrace your tracks back behind you. We're all gonna meet back up here, back foot on the ground and step back, good job. Oh, I'm sorry, bring your right leg forward. I wanna do this. Cross your right leg behind your left. This is really good for the hip stretch. So right leg is crossed behind the left. You're making an X, turn this way, you've got an X going. And now for extra juiciness, you can use your blocks if you want and walk to your right. Walk to your right or use the fingers on the floor, whatever is accessible. And now bend your front knee, bend it a little, and dig your right heel into the ground. Dig your right heel into the ground and shift your hips to the right. So really press your right heel down. Hips are traveling a little bit to the right. Come across, come back to center. And now go the opposite direction. Bring the blocks over to the left. Bend your left leg. Dig the heel in and push your hips to the right. Ooh, we might feel a little more on that side. Come back center and place your hands on the mat. Step back now, downward facing dog. Option one is to keep both feet grounded. Option two is to lift both feet up into the air and to handstand. How about option three? Option three is to lift one leg up, extend, extended down dog, and release left leg can float when it's ready. Deep breath, push strong with your arms. 
Good. And release. <clears throat> Lower your knees. <clears throat> Child's pose, two breaths. Lifting back up. Let's take the second side now. Bring the right leg forward, right arm to the sky in a twist. Legs are hugging in. Exhale, touch down, lower the back knee. Come upright, variation one, you might push and then float. Variation two, left arm comes behind you and lean back into your back strength here. Coming on up as you're ready. Pull down, touch the ground. Hands to blocks or floor and lift the back leg. Now strong through your standing foot, push the floor away, draw up through your core. And then you can stay here or bring the knee through. Take your time, bring the knee through, hands behind the left leg. Elongate the spine. Extend your leg if you choose. Maybe you're holding a wall here. Customize it. Bending, releasing back. We're gonna touch down to the floor first, get your balance and then step the left leg behind the right. <clears throat> And now walk your blocks over to the right and bend your right leg. Bend your right leg, please. Push your hips to the left slightly as you anchor the left heel down. Really press it down. And then walk the blocks back to the center. Over to the other side, bend, push through the back heel. And please come back center. Uncross, feet are straight ahead now. Take a moment to release your head in a forward bend, maybe even bend your knees and lay your chest on your thigh. Moving into phase three, the lesson. What did I learn from that challenge? What did I learn and how did it help me grow? How has the experience made me stronger or smarter? or more resilient, or patient, or creative, or what? How has it made me better? Bring the hands to your hips, lift your shoulders, and come all the way up. All right, so let's balance. In this place of growth, what did I learn? How did I grow? And these answers may not be apparent right now. Maybe we're still living into the, the question and the answers. So we're gonna stand on the right leg as we move into tree pose. Turn your left leg out. You can keep the toe low, you can come to the shin, or you can assist it and come a little higher. I'm sure you know tree pose. So bring the hands together. I'm gonna to give you arm options. Feel your legs and your hands squeezing together. And then you could try those W arms, so you press the elbows down, lift the heart slightly, feel the back muscles all enthusiastic and engaged, and even draw your ribs back a little for more connection there. Yeah, you could extend your arms up. You could dance with it if you wanna dance. Now, when you come out, we're gonna step wide. So bring the hands to the heart, Step wide, step a little wider, strong legs, fire them up. They have to support you. And then you bend forward on top of that stable support. Head releases, take a moment of introspection here. How did I grow from my challenge? What did I learn and how did I grow? Press firmly into your feet. Legs are strong. Start to lift your torso. Swing your arms up above your head. Hands come around, heart center, and then step or jump the legs together. Tree on the second side. So we'll be balancing on the left leg. 
right foot comes low, middle or high. Please don't place it on your knee. Come a little higher or a little lower. Hands can be wherever it feels right for you. Hmm, maybe an open receiving gesture. Maybe a reach for the stars celebration gesture. We're coming into celebration next. Awesome. Are you breathing? Just my job to check in and ask that question. If you danced on the first side, you got to dance on this side. Whoa, and fall over, hands together, step out wide, feet straight ahead, strong legs, forward you go. Pause in the forward bend here. Receive a couple full breaths there. Keeping the legs very strong, press through the feet and come all the way up. And then step or jump your legs together. And guess what? We are going into celebration time now. We get to celebrate our successes. And even if you don't feel like you've had success, let me tell you, you have. In some way, you've become more adaptable, more resilient, stronger, more patient. And did you know that there's a universal gesture that everyone does, it's innately in us, when we celebrate, when we feel celebratory or we just want to express a victorious feeling, and I bet you know what that is, it's this, right? It's like the arms go up, even blind people. My brother uh, lost his sight at a young age and he didn't really see people do this, but when he won something or was excited, his arms would go up like this. So it's instinctually in us. So there's gonna be some of this in here because it's natural and it really brings a sense of um, levity to the body when we do that. So just forewarning you. Come to the front of your mat, everyone. All right, let's put it all together here as we celebrate your resilience, your strength, and also so many other qualities. Come to a seat into a chair position, hips back, dig your heels down, dig down. Dig down into the possibilities that are waiting for us. We get to build on top of our successes, but we first have to acknowledge them. From here, take your hands out in front of you. Pop your heels up if you choose. Hold here, you might dip a little deeper. You might say, I'm good where I'm at. Good. Hold here, and now press your heels down. Lift up, bring your arms up like, yes. And then from there, come across, bend your arms, hold your elbows. I'm crouching down here, so I'm in the camera. And now lift up from there, stretch your elbows to the moon, to the moon, Alice. And then lean to your left, over to your left. Try to pull your elbows apart. Come back to the center. I'm gonna make sure you can still hear me here. Oh, yep, lean to the other side. <clears throat> and come back to center. Bring the hands to the heart center and pause here. Just take a moment to feel. Feel your breath in this upright position. And then inhale, arms come up, touch above you. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping the right leg back, lower the back heel coming up to warrior two. Ah, here we are, Virabhadrasana two. Standing in your strength again, and then take your arms to celebration, reach up. Yeah, and then reach both hands down, give yourself a little pat on the back. Yay, good for you. You did good this year, you did good. And then come back out, warrior two, come on down to the ground. Step back downward facing dog, deep breath. Extend your right leg and step it forward between your hands, lower the back foot, come up to warrior two on this side. <clears throat> Remember our class is a little longer today. How are you for a little bit longer? Hold here. And now reach up, lift your ribs, stretch high. Reach back, hands down, give yourself a pat. Feel a nice little tricep stretch perhaps as well. Come back up and back out, maybe sink a little deeper. Such an empowering posture here. 
come back down, touch the ground, and everyone step back now. It's a good old downward dogorama. And let's do the jog dog, not the stroll, but the jog. So let your legs move a little faster. Hmm, deep breath. Jog it on out. And now knees come to the ground, sitting back for two deep breaths in child's pose. Take this time to honor your accomplishments. Give yourself credit. In the party room of your mind, throw the confetti and pop the cork. You did good. You survived and you're stronger because of all the challenges. <clears throat> And now coming up, please to your hands and knees. <clears throat> All right, from here, we're gonna be rolling side to side. And by that, I mean the legs. So pivot your feet to the left, pivot your feet to the left, extend the right leg out and bring the right arm up, a little side knee plank. And then if you want, if you feel like leaning back into it, a little more of a back bend, you go there. And if you feel more like you want to be in this plane, go there. And from here, make it fluid. Circle the arm down to the ground. As the leg comes in, just swivel the feet to the right. Left leg goes out, lift it up. We're moving into intention now, setting intention. What do I want for the new year? What do I want? Could be many things. But maybe one or two come to mind first. Maybe more peace, maybe more fun, more joy. Come around, let's go first sight again. Circle, maybe you want a new job. Maybe you want a new relationship. Open back up, lean back. Oh. Coming around, just make it fluid. Feel into it, my friends. Open up left arm, left leg back. and take your time coming back around to center. Pause for a moment and you can sit back on your heels if that feels okay. If not, come to a kneeling position. Just take a moment where you can bring the hands together in front of the heart center, this ball of wisdom, either sitting on your heels or kneeling. And pause to feel. <sighs> As we set an intentions for going forward or simply ask the question, what is it that I want? And perhaps we can use the blocks of 2020 and turn those blocks into stepping stones for 2021. What do I want? Just ask that question and the answer will come later if not now, maybe in a month even. <clears throat> All right, and now hands come down to the ground, curl the toes under, lift the knees and come up to standing position. <clears throat> so I hope you're feeling better. If you're feeling more alive, more clear, a little stronger, a little more awake. The intentions are powerful. And if we don't ask the question, like, what do I want? How do we know when we get what we want, right? How do we know when it arrives? So we just ask a lot. Take the arms and extend all the way up and then bring the hands, exhale down. Focus on breath, inhale. We have this amazing matrix of energy in our body. Let's breathe into that. One more time. Right now, I'm gonna turn sideways. You stay where you're at, please. Take your right arm, just release both arms down actually. Take your right arm, circle it back, bring it up and over, and then cross across your body. <clears throat> Take your left arm, forearm to forearm, and just gently draw the forearm towards you. <clears throat> and then tilt your head to the left, please. So you're laying your ear on a pillow. Feel the right shoulder and just subtly drop it down. Mm. 
and then release. Let's do the left side. So circle the arm back. Remember this pattern, it's gonna show up again in a minute. Come across and then forearm to forearm in case you can't see there, forearm to forearm and draw in. Try to keep the arm straighter if you can and then tilt your head to the right. Awesome, and a release. Shake it out. Now we'll come down to our hands and knees and that pattern is gonna show up again. So from here, bring the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips as we know to do. Take your right arm and circle it back. Come on up, over, and now as it comes down, thread it through and to thread the needle. So you'll come down onto your right shoulder, right side of your head. You may need to move your legs back a little bit. And holding here, take a deep breath in. Slow, cleansing breath out. Coming back up now, place the hand on the ground. Do the second side, left arm comes back, circle it up, over, and loop it on through. Come on to the left shoulder, left side of the head. Really tapping more into the breath as you slow things down a bit. Elicit the full cooperation of your nervous system through your breath. Another beautiful thing that yoga teaches us. When we are in the midst of challenges, we can tap into this God-given mechanism of the breath. And then come all the way up. Fantastic. We're going to shift now onto our seat, getting closer back to the ground, and shift into the very last part of this process, thinking about a word that might guide you through the next year. And that word doesn't have to arrive today. It might be tomorrow or the next day or a month from now. But you start to look for signs that will start to pop up. Maybe the word shows up on a t-shirt somewhere or on the back of a coffee cup or something. Be on the lookout. Your word will show up. So come to, actually, let's start in this position. Right leg out, left ankle crossed over, and hands behind you. Then bend the right leg. Place the foot on the floor. Now, if your hips are a little tighter, maybe you keep the leg out here more, okay? If you need a little bit more spice, bring your foot back. Lift your chest, lift your spine. <clears throat> Years ago, <clears throat> I learned about uh, when setting intentions, I learned this concept of the cosmic waitress or the cosmic waiter. Maybe you've heard of it. I always think about it and it makes me chuckle when it comes to the question of what do I want? What do I really want? The concept is that there is a cosmic waiter or waiter, let's just say, and you need to give them specifics, not just like I'm hungry, give me food. So for example, go ahead and let's switch legs. Left leg out, <clears throat> cross your right leg over and back up. So here's, for example, <clears throat> if you're hungry, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> and you walk into a, a restaurant and sit down and the waiter comes to the table and you just say, I'm really hungry, bring me some food, bring me some food. The waiter's gonna be like, well, I don't know what you want. I don't care, just bring me some food. So they bring you food and you're like, this isn't what I want. I don't even like this food. And so the idea is that we have to be specific. We have to say, I want salmon with asparagus, with um, dark chocolate on the side and a glass of red wine. So in our lives, it's super important that we ask for specifics. What is it that I want? Be specific. Makes a huge difference in manifesting. Good wrist release. <clears throat> Come on to your back, everyone. Just roll yourself on down. Place the hands on the low belly for a moment. Ah, <sighs> and feel the dense support again underneath you. Rest back into that. Imagining that same benevolent energy that took the backpack off of you. Rest back into this idea that you're not alone. You are co-creating your life with the same big energy that gave you life.
Feel your breath, feel it rise and fall. Well, now place your feet a little wider to the outer edges of your mat. Let's move, you can take the arms wherever they're comfortable. I like to take my arms out to the side with palms up, but just see what feels good. Let your legs fall to the right in a windshield wiper. Sometimes here it feels nice to extend the left arm above your head and just get really long, open space up. And then switch your legs to the second side, legs fall to the left. You may choose to stretch the right arm over your head. And come back to the center. And then bring your feet closer together. So just giving you a heads up if you're wondering how much longer you have for class, maybe you have a prior commitment. It's New Year's Day, everything's closed, right? So we're gonna roll, rock a little side to side. We're gonna wind down just a, one more posture here. Take a short Shavasana and then finish with a brief guided meditation that can really solidify this whole process that you did today. And then if you stay for the very end, I have a gift I'm gonna be giving one of you. So hang on out, must be present to receive an awesome gift for you. All right, place your feet on the floor and let's just take a moment to extend your right leg up, flex your foot, point your foot, circle your ankle. Hold the back of your right leg, lengthen your left. Breathe in and exhale as you're ready. Engage the abdomen, float the right leg slowly down to the mat. Feel the heel land. Bring the left leg in as you're ready. Hands interlace, extend it up, flex it. Point it, circle. And then slowly float it down. And if you need to cover up or place a sweatshirt on, you can do that at this time. It'll take about three to four minutes here in the Shavasana. And then we'll come to a seated position for our strong finish. And then we can launch ourselves into starting stronger in this year. So allow yourself to find a comfortable place for your Shavasana. I would like to extend the invitation for you to try to find a little space under your low back. So maybe you have to draw your shoulder blades under you more to lift the chest. Feel a little pocket of space under your lumbar. Let your pelvis and thighs be heavy. I'll be holding space for you. We're taking time here to fall into stillness. This is the most important part of our practice right now. We get to soak it up, assimilate. And with, when we have a short period of time in Shavasana, we can still learn to drop deep. Start by on purpose, opening your mouth a little. Let your lips come apart. Let the tongue fall heavy to the floor of your mouth. Feel the breath go in. Feel the breath go out. Bring awareness to your thumb, the base of your thumb, 
Maybe circle your thumb a few times. Maybe let the hands be still and soft and open. Feel the breath go in. Feel the breath exit. Bring your awareness to your heels. Feel the heels pressing into the mat. And feel the soles of your feet, your other sole. Feel the air across your feet. Imagine the air is warm. And feel the breath move in. And watch it as it leaves. Resting back into a divine support that is always with you, around you, in you. In this next last minute, see if it's possible to release 2% deeper, 2% more, wherever you might be gripping, holding. It's okay. You can let your guard down. Now, if you feel like you are in a really sweet spot and you want to stay <clears throat> reclined, you certainly can do that and absorb the meditation. Typically, we encourage people when you meditate to sit upright so that you stay awake. So as you're ready, make your choice. And if you prefer to sit up, start to wiggle your fingers. Stretch your arms if you wish and transition knees to chest. And resting on your right side. And then when you press up to find a seat, this is going to be five minutes max, but be comfortable. When I teach meditation, the first principle is be kind and the second one is be comfortable. So you might lean against a wall, you extend your legs out straight or move to a chair, sit in a chair if that's more comfortable for you, All right? So be comfortable. And I'll give you a moment just to come into that position. Maybe you're still reclined, that's fine. And once you're in your final, your final pose, I invite you once again to close your windows to the world, close your eyes. Be willing to stay in your own little inner world and settle in. And start by feeling the yoga echoing through your body. Feel your sense of aliveness. Maybe noticing new space, new freedom, maybe some new sensations, 
or perhaps even a feeling of flow, like your breath might flow more freely. And just know that you released a lot during this time of practice today. All of us released what we needed to, whether it was stress or tension or stiffness or limited thinking. Maybe we released heaviness or expectation or doubts or worries. Take a moment to notice the effects of the practice on you. And now I hear the words of one of my teachers, Deepak Chopra. I hear his words in my head and he says, it is time to recapitulate. Recapitulate, we're going to just move swiftly through what we did. He encourages this practice when you go to bed at night to recapitulate, to go through your day. And then that helps you unwind and go to sleep. <clears throat> so we started off with a rant where we gave ourselves permission to release. We shook off some tensions and frustrations. How did that feel? Maybe it felt good, maybe it felt silly or awkward. It's okay, how did it feel? And then we met up with our challenge. We chose a challenge. And we looked for the lesson. What did you learn? How did you grow? And then we celebrated our success, we gave ourselves credit, we honored ourselves. And let's linger here. It's really important to bolster us so that we can start stronger. <clears throat> take, take some time here to honor yourself, truly honor yourself. Honor the way that you became more resilient or perhaps anti-fragile is a new word I hear all the time. How did you become more resilient or anti-fragile this year? Honor that. Acknowledge the ways you became smarter. You had to learn new things. Be resourceful. Honor the ways you became stronger. The ways you became more creative, maybe creative problem solving. Or patient. Oh my goodness, patience. Or honor. Maybe you became really accepting. Like this, it is what it is. You can't build on top of success you don't acknowledge. And we want to build on top of this. So may we honor the past year and then begin to take steps forward to build on our growth and our resilience, on our intelligence and our open heartedness. Each one of us becomes and can become and will become a light that helps shine forward as we hopefully end this endarkenment. We then set an intention or at least brought it up that it's important to ask, what do I want? And can I take action from wherever I am right now? Baby steps. Every dream begins with baby steps in the direction of the unknown. So 
And rest assured, my friends, that today's baby steps are what's generating tomorrow's resources, not the other way around. What baby steps can we take? And then last, we contemplated a word or brought up the idea of a word that we could possibly live into this year, a guiding light, a north star. Maybe it's trust or peace or love, or strength or fun or integrity. You'll know. Take 30 seconds of silence here, and then we'll end. Give yourself sweet attention, sweet love. A big cosmic pat on the back. You get to finish strong and start stronger. Let the hands once again arrive in front of your heart. And I leave us with the four intentions for all of us as we move forward into this new year and beyond. May we all experience a joyful, energetic body, a loving and compassionate heart, a reflective and alert mind, and a lightness of being. So enjoyed our time together this morning. I appreciate you being here and sharing your time and your practice with me. Bowing to a beautiful light in each of you. Namaste. Ah, and the, all the yogis go, ah. So thank you all so much for being here. I did say that I was gonna give a gift out. So I wanna do that right now. And this is a gift for a free eight weeks of yoga. Um, if any of you are interested in practicing with me, I have classes on Mondays and Thursdays on Zoom, of course, for now. And this would be a free eight weeks of yoga. And I wrote this out before class. The 21st person on the list here, since it's uh, 2021, I will give this out to. And uh, also just want to remind you that my new session for yoga is starting next week, January 4th. I love if any of you are interested in joining me, love to have you and to have a beautiful four week online meditation course that starts January 12th. And so I'd love to take you on that journey with me as well. You can find all that information on Fusion Facebook page or um, on the Fusion website. So I'm going to count 21 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 15, 16, 17, my eyes are going 21 Jean Perkins Jean Perkins you are the grand the winner of the grand prize I'll reach out to you and get you more information so everyone thank you so much for being here it was a riot I enjoyed being with you all we ended up having 84 people and oh what a blessing to practice together in a virtual community for right now and blessings to you all for a really healthy happy new year with a lot of fun we need to find some fun i'm on a project to find fun i'll let you know when i find it and it can be simple fun right so if you this class will be posted on my youtube website or my youtube page marcia nealon so if you want to do it again or you want to write down that exercise to journal about it. It's super powerful, really powerful to do.
So check the Marsha Nealon YouTube page and the, this class will be there. Also the Christmas Eve class is on there too, if you missed that one. And a couple um, times a month, just be on the lookout. I'm gonna have a couple free classes on Saturday or Sunday. And so just be on the lookout and I'd love to have you join me for those. Um, and during the week, I teach Mondays, Wednesdays, you can always just do a drop in, you can drop in to one class, or if you wanted to sign up for the whole session, you could do that as well. So thank you all for being here. I see so many people that I just adore and haven't seen for a long time. And I see so many new names. And I'd love to love to get to meet you in person someday when we get back to that. And if you're, I know many of you are here from out of state as well. So thank you. And we just all go out and oof, share the sense of upliftment. If you felt that, share it with the people in your family, people you work with. And start stronger as we move into this new year.